everybody's talking about this guy, George Santos, and how he's been lying about his past and his record. And people are making a big deal out of it, right? So, you know, this he's a, a Republican representative, right, from, where is he from? Can you find out where, mm -hmm. what, where does he represent? <laughs> Did he graduate at the top of his class like Biden? <laughs> well, that's what we're going to show. We're going to show. So he had it. So he's been been lying about everything here. More more false claims from George Santos about his work, education and family history. So here he was. We went out with Tulsi. It didn't go well for him. You want to watch this? <laughs> he's from New York, New York rep. Okay. Chrisman elect uh, integrity means, yes, carrying yourself with honor. But it means it means telling the truth, being a person of integrity of and if I were one of those in New York's third district right now, now that the election is over and I'm finding out all of these lies that you've told, not just one huh. little lie or one little embellishment, these are blatant lies. M my question is, do you have no shame? <laughs> do you have no shame in the people who are now you're asking oh. to trust you to go and be their voice for them? It would have been better if he just said, I do not. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> and their families and their kids in Washington. Tulsi, I can say the same thing about the Democrats and, and the party. Look at Joe Biden. <laughs> oh, Joe Biden's been lying to the American people for response? 40 years. He's the president of the United States. That, that's Democrats, for me to say, not you. Oh, that's right. That's what we're going to say. That's not you what you say. say you don't get to say, hey, look, we're all liars. Joe Biden's a liar. That's uh, not a, that's not an actual defense. That, so the hey, answer's no? Hey, every, there's other people just as shitty as me. That's not a defense. Oh my God! But it, that's what, that's all he has, I guess. So he's going to use it. Watch how he he does keep calm and cool through this whole thing. Watch this, and Tulsi's beating the shit out of him. How <laughs> they support him? Do they have no shame? This, Look, this I've is, made this very this clear. This is not this I is made, not about the Democratic Party, though. This is about your relationship, no, frankly, with the people who've entrusted you to go and and fight for them. And I think one of the questions that that really probably hits home to a lot of people is is. Are you Jewish? And we've got a letter that your campaign sent <laughs> out earlier this year. He's been saying he's Jewish. Which what? reads as follows. As a proud American Jew, I've been to Israel <laughs> numerous times for educational, <laughs> business, and leisurely trips. <gasps> well, Whippy Goldberg can do it. <laughs> <laughs> She's a Democrat. He should have said that. Yeah. He should have said, well, if Whoopi Goldberg can do it, I could do it. <laughs> Just bring up precedents for all of this. Here we go. That you are, quote, a proud American Jew. How do you, <laughs> how do you explain that? My heritage is Jewish. I've always identified as Jewish. I was raised a practicing Catholic. I think what? I've gone wait, through wait this. Wait a minute. That doesn't answer the question. Wait, what? He's, he said, <laughs> wait, wait. he's trying to say, he's, he seems like he's just trying to, look at Chelsea's face. He looks like he's just trying to say he's, he is Jewish. He's just like, he's just doubling down on the lie. It I like. identify as Jewish. I identify I was as Jewish. I'm a Catholic. A practicing, practicing Catholic. So the opposite of a Jew. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Not not being raised a practicing Jew, I've always joked with friends and circles, even with in the campaign, I'd say, guys, I'm Jewish. Remember, I was raised Catholic. So, look, I understand everybody wants to nitpick at me. I, I'm going to reassure this once and for all. I'm not a facade. I'm not a persona. I, I have an extensive career that I worked really hard to achieve, and I'm going to deliver from my experience because I remain committed in delivering results for the American people. I campaigned on inflation. I campaigned on crime. I campaigned on education. I campaigned on delivering resolve for the American people. That's what the people of the 3rd Congressional District heard me on and on as I campaigned. Now it's going to be up, uh, incumbent upon me to deliver on those results, and I look forward to servicing, you're, you're servicing exactly and, right. and serving my, pe my district. I look forward to serving the, my people results, in my district to make sure that they see that, that this is what looking for. the results that people are looking yeah, well, for I, are called into question when you tell blatant lies, not embellishments. And this is this is, I think, one of the biggest concerns, Congressman elect, is that you don't. So he's trying to pass it off as sure. I embellish my 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 resume. Who does it? That's what he's trying to say. But and she's it, like, this is not an embellishment. These are blatant lies that you've been telling. Wait till we're going to chronicle all his lies, but they just keep. Oh, good. Okay. I want to see if this guy doesn't crack. I'm like, he, well, he might have a future if he doesn't crack. He's not, he doesn't. Watch. Here we go. I think he does have a future. Here we go. You seem to be taking this seriously. You've apologized. You said you've made mistakes, but you've outright lied. A lie is not an embellishment on a resume. You said you worked at Goldman Sachs and Citigroup. <laughs> But they've said, we've got no record of this guy working for us. You've said you've gone to and graduated from these universities, but they've said, well, we've got no record of that. These are blatant lies, and it calls into question how your constituents and the American people 
can believe anything that you may say when you are standing on the floor of the House of Representatives supposedly fighting for them. That's the real issue here. He's well, taking look, it. I, and I, I agree with what you're saying. And I, as I, I agree with what you're saying. What? What? Again, by the way, that's a good way out. Actually, not yeah. bad. I, I agree, agree with what you're saying, and I'm going to do better. <laughs> and I'm going to do better. All right? What the fuck? What else? What else you want me to say? <laughs> okay, here we go. And I continue. We can debate my my resume and how I work with. <laughs> we can debate my resume. I, the guy's no, we good. can't. It's not real. <laughs> Honestly, he's good though. And I think this guy's going to go really far. He is. This guy's got a bright future. He is. He is a great straight face liar, and he's that's like, what you need to be. Yeah, he did the old. It's like if if NATO was one man. Like, but is Russia bad? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. From such as Goldman. Is it and debatable or is it just false? Is it debatable or is it just debatable? No, no, it's not false at all. It's it's debatable. I can I can sit down and explain to you what you can do in private equity, in in capital intro, via servicing limited partners and general partners. And we can have this discussion that's going to go way above the American people's head. But that's not what I campaigned on. I campaigned on delivering results wow. for the American. So I could I could tell you how I'm not lying, but you're too dumb to understand it. Oh my God! That's basically what he just He's said. He's gonna be the president of the United States. I can- <laughs> <laughs> this guy is gonna go straight to the top. He's good. He's good, and he doesn't back down. He's good. Wow. People by, by lowering inflation, I can sit down. And if you want to have that discussion, I'd be glad to Tulsi to explain that to you Co- and Congress make sure that we, we we settle the score. <laughs> this smiling. is not about settling scores and i think you just you just kind of highlighted i think my concern the concern that people at home have you're saying that this discussion will go way above the heads of the american people mm. basically insulting their intelligence so not only are you now that's backtracking not, that's on not these what i'm saying that I, you've told but, but, but you're saying that, that you can't explain it saying. in a way that your constituents would okay. actually be able to understand i can explain it in a way if you give me he okay. See the wording in the thing. It goes. He was offered an exciting opportunity with Golden Sack, Golden, Golden Sack, Sa- mm-hmm. Golden Sack, <laughs> Goldman Sachs. <laughs> That's very. That kind of language is like. Because basically, is it was he like? Yeah, I was going to invest with them. <laughs> like, is that what the? Because mm-hmm, right. an opportunity like could be anything. Anything. With, yeah. Yeah. I could have gone to a Christmas party one time. But 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 Tulsi's really. It's almost unfair how I mean she's not being unfair, but she's it's almost, smiling like wow, you really are going yeah. all the way with this. <laughs> she can't believe she it. is hammering the shit out of him, man. I don't even know if I I, I would do it that hard. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. If you give me the time, I can easily give the. Uh, if you give me the time, I can easily explain it for you. As as in, when investors are looking for capital, and I'm sitting there doing due diligence ah. on the deci- on the appetite and what they're looking for, right? And we work alongside GPs and LPs to help them place this capital. This is what I was doing, and that's when I worked extensively with these firms and many other firms at my time as I was v- vice president of Linkbridge Investors. So this isn't the this isn't the main up narrative, but I feel like nobody really wants to sit down and talk about it. Everybody just wants to push me Uh, and call me a liar. Look, I embellished my resume. I did. (laughs) Congressman Alex Santos, we've given you a lot of time. I think the time that is owed is to the people of New York's third. Uh, It's hard to imagine how they could possibly trust your explanations when you're not really even willing to admit the depth of your deception to them. Thank you so much for being here and joining us. <laughs> Thank you, Tulsi. Now- <laughs> <laughs> he straight faced it all the way to the end. That guy's going to be he's going to be president. He should. Is has he officially converted to Judaism? Because if he does that, you're, now you're attacking a Jew. Now you're attacking a Jew. <laughs> like on Seinfeld, the, the dentist oh, yeah. switch for the jokes. For the jokes. <laughs> so this guy says. George Santos pretended to be a gay Afro Latino <laughs> Ukrainian Brazilian Catholic Jew whose mother died on 9 11, whose ancestors survived the Holocaust, whose employees died in the Pulse Club mass shooting, and whose net worth rose by millions overnight. Am I missing anything? I believe his mother died twice. <laughs> Did he say all those things? <laughs> yes. His mother died. So twice. here, so here's CNN to break it down. <laughs> Uh, they he he's new he's new claims that he uh, was forced to leave New York City private school when his family's real estate assets took a downturn and stating he represented Goldman Sachs at a top financial conference where he berated the company for investing in renewables. So this is all bullshit. CNN also 
reviewed more instances of Santos providing additional false history on his family's background. In one interview, he said his mother's family historical Jewish name was Zabrowski and later appeared to operate a GoFundMe campaign for a pet charity, which he falsely claimed was a 501c3 nonprofit under that alias. Oh, my God. Genealogists CNN previously spoke with found no evidence of Jewish or Ukrainian heritage. <laughs> In his family tree. In another, he said his mother, whose family has lived in Brazil since the late 1800s, was a white immigrant from Belgium. Okay. So he lied about both of his grandparents. Since reports first surfaced about his false claim, Santos has made efforts to downplay. He calls them embellishments. But the previously unreported claims from Santos illustrate a pattern of fabricating details about his life, often in service of presenting a more compelling and interesting personal narrative. Well, Jimmy, the man is a veteran. <laughs> a Jewish veteran. A, a Catholic Jewish, Jewish veteran. <laughs> He's a practicing Catholic Jew. He's a practicing Jew. Catholic Jewish veteran whose parents are white from Belgium. Anyway, in interviews over the past few days, Santos admitted to lying about parts of his resume, including graduating from college. But he told the New York Post that he, the misrepresentation of his work history at Goldman Sachs on, or in Citigroup was a poor choice of words. Should have went with clubs and colleges, dude. <laughs> <laughs> There is no record he worked at the top financial institutions in the country, as he had previously claimed. Other Santos falsehoods exposed recently include he falsely claimed to be Jewish and that his grandparents survived oh, the no. Holocaust and fled <laughs> Europe to escape persecution. <laughs> he falsely claimed to have attended Horace Mann Prep School in the Bronx. He falsely claimed to have worked at Goldman Sachs and Citigroup. He falsely claimed his maternal grandparents changed their last name from the Jewish Zabromsky. He falsely claimed that his mother fled <laughs> socialism in Europe and moved to the United States. Uh -huh. His mother was born in the United uh -huh. States. He falsely claimed his mother was in the South Tower on <laughs> September 11, 2001, but both but survived the terrorist attacks and passed away a few years later when she lost her battle <laughs> of cancer. His mother appears to have died more than 15 years later in 2016. <laughs> he never graduated from college, despite saying he had a diploma from Baruch College in Baruch. New York. <laughs> Baruch, Baruch, is college, that his name? Yeah. The, the Jewish college? George Santos lied about everything, so Democrats are demanding he step aside. You can't do that. It's, de de Democrats are demanding yeah, shouldn't a politician. should Republicans be demanding it? Yes. First of all. <laughs> Democrats are demanding he step aside because he lied? Uh. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Because that's what this guy's pointing out. <laughs> hey, I'll I'll rake him over the coals for lying about all that stuff, too. But the last person to do that should be a Democrat. And this is what Professor Zankis is going to point out. Here's a he, and he did a whole Twitter thing, a uh, uh, thread about all the lies that Joe Biden lied about. Let me just go to the good part. So here it is. Explaining to do the new questions stem from With taped remarks of, of Biden States. during an April campaign appearance in New Hampshire. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my in my class uh, to have a full academic scholarship. Went back to law school and, in fact, ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school and 165 credits, only 123 credits. Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his law school class that he does not have three degrees from college, <laughs> and that he was not named outstanding political <laughs> science student in college. Newsweek says Biden actually went to school on a half scholarship, ended up near the bottom of his class, <laughs> and won only one degree, not three. Uh, Joe Biden <laughs> ranked 76th in a class of 85 at the University of <laughs> Syracuse Law School. I mean, this guy comes off this whole thing as a flyweight. Now Biden says Newsweek is right, and his memory had failed him. What do they call that when you lie and say you're Jew? Stolen chutzpah? <laughs> <laughs> stolen chutzpah. It's like stolen valor. valor yeah. he, he <laughs> so there, it goes on. We, you know we could go on and on with Joe. So uh, I, pr the point that he was making, Professor Zink, is that the Democrats are the last people to tell a Republican to resign for lying. is true. Uh, presidential candidate Joseph Biden today faces a controversy Three weeks ago, at a debate at the Iowa State Fair, he used phrases identical to those delivered by British Labor Party leader Neil Kinnock. Biden seemed to be claiming Kinnock's vision and life as his own. Why is it that my wife is sitting out there in the audience is the first in her family to ever go to college? Why is Glenys the first 
woman in her family in a thousand generations to be able to get the universe. They'd have a plan. My ancestors who worked in the coal mines in northeast Pennsylvania and come up after 12 hours and play football. Eight hours underground and then come up and play football. Ah! It's because they didn't have a platform upon which to stand. There was no platform upon which they could stand. The notion that every thought or notion or idea you'd have to go back and find and attribute to someone, I think is, quite frankly, uh, ludicrous. The problem here is that Senator Biden told his audience he'd just been thinking about these things, <laughs> and he failed to give any credit at all to his famous British speechwriter. You know, I was thinking on the way over here. <laughs> now, that's a little too much, because as you point out, what's behind the words? What's there? And a lot of people, a rap on Biden has always been that it's just a surface. I should have said... To paraphrase Neil Kinnock, it's the only time I didn't <laughs> in all the times I've ever used it. Oh, but CBS News found a tape of a second instance. <laughs> it reappeared in the New York Times with a new charge, that Biden had appropriated a famous litany from the late Robert Kennedy about what the gross national product cannot measure. It cannot measure the health of our children. The health of our children. The quality of our education. The quality of their education. The joy of their play. <laughs> or the joy of their play. Biden gave Kennedy no credit. He has also quoted or paraphrased John Kennedy, Hubert Humphrey, and British <laughs> Labor Party leader Neil Kinnock, all without credit. Joseph Biden admitted today that he committed plagiarism when he was in law school. He said it was a mistake, but that it was unintentional. He quoted five pages of someone else's work without <laughs> proper citation. <laughs> I've done some dumb things. And I'll do dumb things again. Yeah, I bet. He was given an F. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I've been dumb. To the political community in Washington, it all seems of a piece. Plagiarism at law school, plagiarism on the stump. The great communicator. Strike that. The great imitator. You don't steal verbatim, uh, or when you do, as he did 99% of the time, you give credit. Biden's critics say he sells himself as a man whose words and visions can inspire a new generation in politics. But if the thoughts, phrases, and visions really belong to others, it's a form of false advertising. Is it a wise idea, though, to take something <laughs> that personal, anyway, from another politician and try and appropriate it to your own campaign? I think it was a stupid thing to uh, appropriate uh, material that was really very personal that was someone else's. Most people didn't know who he was. You know, Joe Biden, Biden, and now they're going to say, oh, yeah, he's the guy who plagiarized. That's a lot of people. First. <laughs> Politically, that's devastating. These clips are devastating. He looks like a Joe Biden wind-up doll with somebody else's words coming out. If they're going to do things that are stupid as well as immoral, <laughs> then they're probably too dumb to have the job of president. Well, well they you, sound like idiots now. They, those guys are idiots. <laughs> Joe Biden proved you wrong. You can lie at the top of your lungs yeah. and become president. No problem. But he, it, it hasn't stopped, by the way. Since he's been president, they just stopped counting the president's lies at the Washington Post. Remember they started that thing, the president's lies <laughs> tracker? Well, they stopped it with Biden. They just did it for Trump. <laughs> and uh, so here, Biden falsely claims January 6th writers killed two police officers in a speech at his alma mater. Imagine what you'd be thinking today if you had heard this morning before you got here that a group of a thousand people <laughs> broke down the doors of the Parliament of Great Britain, killed two police officers, smashed and ransacked the off. What would you think? And then down here it says Biden claimed in a speech in Wisconsin in March that riders killed five police officers. Well, can't they stop them? <laughs> <laughs> They're st still doing. <laughs> so, by the way, none of them were killed. They, no, there's no, they, no, no police officers were killed during the riot. A couple of police officers committed suicide after the riot. That, that's yeah. not the same thing. A couple of fat middle-aged republicans died of fat guy problems i think they might have had heart attacks afterwards yeah, right? yeah. Right. seniors are getting the biggest increase in their social security checks in 10 years through president biden's leadership oh wait a minute we had they fact checked it on, on twitter <laughs> twitter had to fact check the white house and then they took down the tweet that's how much the white house is lying but we all expect it that's the whole thing it's like does anyone think that a politician should have to resign for lie? they no, all lie elizabeth warren so what she was in cherokee elizabeth warren said she was an she Indian. wrote a cookbook. Yes, she was a Native American. <laughs> she wrote a cookbook of her Native American casseroles and such. <laughs> <laughs> Remember this? Biden's final pitch to Georgia: vote blue, and two grand checks will go out the door immediately. Those two thousand checks will go out the door, and that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> that's literally true. No, I'm serious. Come on, no, I'm serious. No joke. No, I'm serious. No joke.
For years, Joe Biden has been recounting a story of American heroism and heartbreak on the front lines, recently telling a crowd in New Hampshire how he traveled to Afghanistan to pin a silver star on a young Navy captain. One of his buddies got shot, fell down a ravine about 60 feet. This guy climbed down a ravine, carried this guy up on his back under fire, and the general wanted me to pin the silver star on him. And then a moving moment as Biden <laughs> approached with the medal. It's the God's truth. My word is a Biden. He stood his attention. I went to pin him. I said, sir, I don't want the damn thing. Do not pin it on me, sir. Please, sir. Do not do that. He died. He died. But the Washington Post <laughs> dug into the story and determined Biden got the time period, the location, the heroic act, the type of medal, the military branch, and the rank of the recipient wrong, as well as his own role in the ceremony. <laughs> For years, Joe Biden. <laughs> my name is a Biden. I, my name is a Biden. On the blood, by the blood of my surviving my, son. Yeah, <laughs> my word is a Biden. And then, of course, most recently, Joe Biden says after he was elected vice president, he awarded his uncle Frank with a purple heart he earned at the Battle of the Bulge. There's no evidence any of that is true. And Biden's uncle died in 1999. I believe he told the same exact story as the one we just yes, saw, too. about that. Please don't point it at no, me. No, sir, you he, don't. Yeah, yeah, he likes that. He likes that story. Anyway, so uh, Tulsi was wicked. Uh, that guy is going to be president because he really can lie. Well, great. It's amazing how he lies. I mean, that's Joe Santos. Like lying about lying about a fake metal is one thing. He lied about being Jewish. That's like, <laughs> I don't know. That's on the air to me. Yeah, I know. Everybody were doing live stand up comedy in Los Angeles in January and February in Los Angeles. And, and then we're going to Tempe, Palm Springs, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Nashville. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets to become a premium member while you're there.